Imagine for a moment that you began investing in 1985. For a couple of years, your money kept growing until the infamous Black Monday, labeled as the Monday Massacre. It marked Wall Street's largest one-day drop in history. The decline affected millions, challenging the perception that you were a financial genius. Despite friends urging you to sell, you ignored their advice. The market slowly recovered until the Nasdaq index plummeted nearly 10% driven by technology and the internet. Traders and investors were shell-shocked, pleading for you to withdraw your money, fearing significant losses. However, you held firm, and the market started rebounding. Little did you know, a profound event awaited. The global economy contracting by 3%, the worst downturn since the Great Depression. Many thought it was the end of the stock market. Yet, as things reopened, the market surged 27% from its low setting new records. It was a comeback. Unmentioned earlier was that the person who invested in 1985 was me, at the age of 18. The average annual return over this period was 11.23%. If I had invested only $250 per month, the return would have been over $6,000, reaching 1,845, 1218. I invested much more than that. Now you understand the power of investing. Let's delve into the details. Many discuss investing but seldom provide practical guidance. I'll guide you through how to invest in stocks using your phone. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. This is just my approach. Before starting, ensure you have an emergency fund of three to five months of living expenses. Firstly, set up an account. Many get stuck here due to numerous investment platforms and account types. It's simpler than it seems, especially with online options. Initially, I had to call a stockbroker each time I wanted to buy. Let's use the Trading2112 app. I'll use my son's account, as mine is cluttered with free shares from his three-month experiment. Open a tax-advantaged account, like Stocks and Shares ISAs in the UK or Roth IRAs in the US. The UK option allows tax-free investing up to $20,000 annually, while the US has limitations and a waiting period until retirement. Feel free to use whatever app you like. This is just one of my personal favorites. Next, we need to deposit some money to start investing. Most apps make it pretty easy to deposit money. We just have to click these three lines and then select Deposit Funds. As you can see, this brings up a screen with lots of different options like Instant Bank Transfer, Bank Transfer, Debit Card, and what we're going to use, Apple Pay. Let's just put in $400 so we can invest in some stocks together. Feel free to invest whatever you feel comfortable doing, Curtis. I'm going to need your face for the phone, all right? Hang on. This next step is super important. Getting some free stocks. Right now, we need to plan a winning strategy. The first thing to remember is that investments go up and down, so it's very hard to pick winning individual stocks. That's why I prefer to invest in all of them. You probably think this sounds a bit crazy, but stay with me. I love listening to music. I'm a big Deacon Blue and Queen fan myself, but whatever you like, if you've ever listened to the radio or used Spotify, you'll be familiar with the music charts. The better the songs perform in sales and downloads, the higher up they go in the charts. On the other hand, if a song drops in popularity and sales, then it drops out of the charts. This is almost exactly the same as investing in an index fund. All you have to do is switch out the songs for companies. Let's take the S&P 500, for example. This is a list of around 500 of the largest public companies in the USA, with big dogs being Amazon, Google, Apple, and Tesla. And just like the music charts, if a company does poorly, then they risk being removed from the list. Here's the cool part about an index fund. With just one click, you're not just investing in one or two companies, but in every single company on the list. So if one doesn't perform very well, your money's okay primarily what people use in order to, you know, allow you to get so a discount on Ray-Bans. I've used that a bunch or even like a $60 statement credit after spending $300 at any height. This benefit here an offer because this is just done through an algorithm on the computer, depending on how your own credit primes, guys, just don't do that. Okay. If it's not popping up usually for the second or third time, you're probably not going to get the American Express gold card has been at the top of my favorites list for many, many years since I signed up for any one of the products or a credit card that comes up to your mind. 
mind. Doesn't even have to be the gold card. Be sure to check out the link down below. And ton about this card, including some secret little benefits that I wanted to share with you in this video to give you extra value beyond just your point earning and your welcome. They forget to use it, but let me tell you, Cheesecake Factory, Gold Belly, Shake Shack, or even Grubhub. Grubhub will oftentimes charge you an additional fee, and if you don't feature, so wherever you're going, Chipotle, whatever it is, you can walk into the store or the restaurant and pick up a gift card for that money when you pull out five to six, you know, ten dollars. I would still say it's a step above something like Expedia or Hotels.com. Took a trip to Las Vegas with my girlfriend, and I did the old credit card twenty dollars sandwich trip. The less I have to think about, the better. Now let's tap add to pie and then the arrow button. If there were more than one stock in here, then we'd be able to change the percentages with this slider. Right, tap next, next, and then auto invest. This value projection is really awesome as it shows you how much money you could make based on historical averages. Of course, when you invest, you can get back less than you invested as investments can rise and fall but it's still a great way to get an idea of how much you could make based on data-backed projections. I mean, say we invested $250 a month for 31 years. You'll only have invested $94,000 of your own money. Your portfolio would be $1.14 million. If we expand this to 40 years, your portfolio will be $3.56 million. It's worth having to play around with this, as it's quite motivational seeing how much money you can make with a relatively small amount invested per month. And to all the people in the comments saying, well, what about inflation? It will make your money worth far less. As long as you're investing and not just keeping your money in a bank account, then inflation is not something you need to be extremely worried about. Additionally, I increased the amount I was investing to keep pace with inflation. Now let's pick some individual stocks. Although I wouldn't recommend that beginners bother with picking stocks, I know many of you are going to try anyway, especially since you've seen people make millions from the right meme stock that skyrocketed like GameStop. Alright, so there are basically two ways to take a stab at figuring out what's going on in the stock market. Technical and fundamental analysis. Those quick deal day traders are all about the technical stuff, poring over price charts and patterns thinking they've got the scoop on how the stock's going to swing just by eyeballing Anytime the Anytime you purchase an item with the American now Express me. Gold Card, you're covered up to $10,000 in value player. from damage, theft, and I loss. So this is why anytime I'm, you know, a Chex Gold Card holder, you can get a bonus you know, just by referring your other friends. As this benefit here the list of my and how well credit known card. Brand the link is. down below in the description. I reckon that's where the real lowdown is for predicting a stock's long-term success. If you want to get approved for this card, I recommend that you have a minimum score of at least 600 in When I throw money into a stock, Landlord, I'm in it for the an long apartment. haul. The nicest at least lounge that two I've to five ever years been minimum. to. The food to find was stock, delicious. Simply and click on the magnifying so glass value icon. Lounge access. Trading two twelve has made it incredibly them, easy to find stocks. And they didn't look like they were getting paid that lists, well. With that being said, tech, if you have the Capital One popular ETFs, card, banks, gold card holder, you can get a bonus zone. just by referring There's your other friends. As more. Take a look when you find a bit of time. You can even go on the social feed tab and see different pies that other users have created and copy it for yourself with a single click, so you don't have to find the stocks yourself. On the stock page, you can see the price graph. And by scrolling down, you can actually access all those important financial documents I discussed earlier. Now let's buy a stock, Tesla will do. Now, this pulls up a page with a couple of different options. The first one is a market order. A market order is just like when you go to the supermarket and pay whatever the price tag says. A limit order, on the other hand, is like going to a boot fair and haggling for the best price you want. You can put in a price that you're willing to pay. And if the price ever gets to that level, then the app will purchase the stock for you. As a beginner, that's all you really need to know. There's no point diving into the other options. Let's buy $400 worth of Tesla so I can show you how it's done. The final step is to press send buy order and boom, we're now part owners of Tesla. So now you know all the steps and you've got a free stock with a link in the description. What's holding you back? Well, it all sounds great, Mark, but isn't investing a bit risky? Well, take a look at this. If you were investing a single amount every month from the age of 25, you would be around about here if you invested for around 30 years. Now, if you waited 10 years, this is the difference that will make to your growth, somewhere around about here. Look at the difference. It's absolutely crazy. So start young. If you have a diversified portfolio of index funds and keep investing at a gradual rate each and every year, then even if there's a stock market crash, Historical data shows you should be able to endure the storm, just like I did. If you want to know why net worth goes crazy after 100K, 
you can check out this next video, but don't click on it just yet. Make sure to subscribe if you want to grow your wealth. Okay, I'll see you over there.